Okay, so here it is. I had to make a video blog about this. Uh, I figured I'd be ridiculous not to. Um, so... Yeah, wow. Damn. <laughs> There's a beginning. Damn. Let's just start with that. Um, on Friday, I was sitting at my computer at work and decided to take a tiny little break, and I hopped on Facebook, and I saw that... Um, well, uh, gay marriage had come to Utah, but uh, there were no news articles for it yet or anything, and uh, one of my Facebook friends had posted it, and I was like, huh? So I hop on Twitter, and I'm searching for it. I only pull up two results, and I'm just starting to think to myself, is this real? This can't be real. This, is, this doesn't make sense. And then slowly but surely, uh, within about 10 minutes, I was uh, still... I was checking back to Google, uh, uh, rechecking tweets on Twitter, and there it was. It was for real. Uh, convince me uh, uh, in shock. Um, didn't know how to react. Um, until about the past couple of days, it's uh, kind of it hit me. <laughs> it, it, it hit me the morning afterward, for sure. I woke up and I realized... I have the same rights as everybody else now, and it just, it made me feel good inside. This is what needed to be done. I, people are going to absolutely disagree with me. They're going to say the federal government overstepped its bounds, uh, that uh, we're all screwed, that the world's being taken over the wicked, Sodom and Gomorrah, blah, 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 blah. Um... I'm not going to put my two cents into it much. I'm just going to say this. It feels amazing to not be such a second-class citizen anymore. And it also feels great to know that I have the same rights as everybody else. It's a great feeling. This, the gay community in this state has been repressed for far too long. I mean, things like things like putting, uh, like, if you want to make a gay club or a whatever at a school or a college or something, you can't even put the word gay in it. That's how repressed this crap is around here. And it's tiresome, it's ridiculous, and it it's it just doesn't make any sense. To have this this uh, Amendment 3 ban, uh, ban on same-sex marriage overturned by this judge, it has been... It's been mind-blowing. Watching all these couples getting married is just freaking amazing. It's, it's amazing to me. It's... It's... Uh, I'm starting to lose count. I don't even think I was ever keeping count, anyway, of how many times I've just kind of lost my shit, like, started, like, getting emotional over this, because this is, this is, this is just freaking amazing. To see people like me getting married. Do you realize how much hope that can, that gives me? It's just like, damn. I don't know about you, but this, regardless of how it played out, this was for the better. It really was. And now, as time moves on, Mormons and gays are going to start to learn to coexist with one another. And hopefully more of these people who belong to the LDS religion will realize why th this is happening. I mean, it gay people are gay people too. They're just like everybody else. And it's kind of hard for them to understand that, but I'm pretty sure with this, as day by day, as it goes on, this is going to improve. And in about 10 or 20 years, the church is going to think, uh, what were we thinking? <laughs> Hopefully, maybe, whatever happens. Anyway, I just couldn't stay quiet about it, and I'm done.